They just wrote a fucking check to Lincoln Riley for $110 million. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, $110 million at USC. He gets a uh, million dollar bonus, which comes in the form of them buying both of the houses he has in Norman, <laughs> mm -hmm. $500,000 over asking price. Yep. Uh, they'll also give him a $6 million home in LA and unlimited use of a private jet 24 seven for he and his family. Smart. USC, which we learned a lot about, those boosters would spend a lot of money to get their dumbass kids oh. just into the classes. <laughs> yeah. I assume they were not above spending a lot of money to get their team back into prominence so that they can brag amongst other uber wealthy boosters of other programs that are potentially doing what better than theirs well when you see this and it's like how could anyone fault lincoln riley it's like who the fuck's <laughs> gonna say no to that well, yeah okay yeah he left yeah. the kids he backstabbed everyone like hey, guess what that's a pretty sweet that's a pretty sweet gig <laughs> as an adult i can understand completely as a player that had our coach leave and go to michigan in the middle of you know a in my life, a terrible time, but also we had one more year with Pat White and we had one more year with our team when Rich went to Michigan. It was heartbreaking. Like it has a heartbreaking is an interesting way because I did celebrate him departing because he <laughs> made life very, very difficult as a player. But hindsight, looking back, like one more year, what we could have potentially accomplished, like those jobs are still going to be available. I wonder if he thinks about that. But when you look at that deal that was offered for Lincoln Riley, because you, you think about how these negotiations go. Hey, Hey, uh, how about USC? Well, I really like it, Norman. I mean, Love we, it. we go to the playoffs. But we're moving into the SEC. I got, I got these two beautiful homes. Mm -hmm. There's boosters that take care of me. We got all – everybody's transfer portaling in here to play in my system. We're really good. We're going to win. I love uh, – you got two homes, you said? Yeah. Yeah, by the <laughs> way, that – yeah, I mean, that's a whole other thing. True. All right, we'll buy both of them, $500,000 over asking price for both of them. Link's like, God damn, should have relisted good that. Good offer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that is a good offer. Is that cash? Absolutely. Uh, what about traveling around for my family? Nobody lives in California. My family's all here. Basically, everybody uprooted a private plane anytime you want it. Mm -hmm. Anytime I want – any 24-7, 24, 24 – anytime you want. Okay. And they're paying me really good here. They got oil money here too. How about 110 million dollars guaranteed? No, oh, sorry. Fuck. All right. <laughs> Real I estate expensive. I guess though. I'll text the team. I'm sorry, boys. <laughs> yeah. You can all transfer though. We'd love you. This team stinks. Yeah. yeah. Come on yeah, over. California. And with this NIL deal, I think we can find some boosters that'll be able to pay for some apartments. This won't be like Reggie Bush losing his thing. Let's go ahead and do this. Good for USC, good for Lincoln Riley. Obviously stinks for Oklahoma, but I think Oklahoma's going to be able to find somebody or get somebody that's great to go over there. Yeah. But they, and then Brian Kelly to LSU, yep. yeah, $95 million or something like that. Sent a text overnight. Hey, boys, boys, we got to meet at 7 a.m. <laughs> yeah. You might saw some of the headlines. I'll dress. I wish I would have told you first. I wish I would have told you first, but goddamn, I flew down here. It's warm, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's warm. My face is going to hit a different shade of purple down in this humidity, but we got some teams. And by the way, transfer on down to Baton Rouge here, and they're going to pay me $95 million. Ooh. I'm getting fuck out of here. See, and I think this one makes more sense with what you were talking about. Like, Notre Dame could still play in the playoff this year. Yes. Like, if I were those players, I would be fucking pissed that he left right now like it's Absolutely. possible that they're still alive like Oklahoma you know I mean they they got beat on Saturday night that was kind of the end of their season but like this it's like okay this yeah that's kind that's a fucking scumbag move yeah of. well Brian Kelly's down in SEC I think he's gonna learn life might be a little bit different who goes to Notre Dame Luke Fickle whoa oh, has to. USC everybody thought not enough even though they're allegedly paying old buddy 110 fucking million buying both of his houses <laughs> private jet access 24-7 right the unlimited private jet for his family 24-7 I'd be like really like you, you tell me unlimited because I might, my kids may take a ride to school. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Uh, in LA, you might need it too, depending upon I the traffic. Pat, you know better than anybody. You could run that bill up to $10 million in one year. You could absolutely oh. could. But let's remember that the USC boosters, they'll pay whatever to get their dumb kids into USC, mm -hmm. let alone the amount that they have to pay to get their team back into relevancy. There was nobody in that stadium for USC, oh. UCLA. USC job was so big. Everybody was talking about who's going to go to USC, who's going to go to USC. And me, as somebody that doesn't follow college football close enough, go, who gives a fuck <laughs> who goes to USC? Like, they, like, who cares who goes you i guess the boosters are you know not happy that i potentially think that a lot of people think yeah. that the pac-12 has kind of been dead since they've kind of been out of this whole thing so those boosters trying to take advantage of it all i love it i respect it i appreciate it but i'm sure the oklahoma oil people that have a lot of cake are about to make some runs at some people as well